What is up, everybody? So a few minutes ago, Kathleen Zellner, who is Stephen Avery's current attorney, tweeted this out about the case. The blood in the RAV4 was tested six years ago, as our pleadings discussed. DNA methylation was used at Cornell University, and the results conclusively ruled out that the blood came from Stephen Avery's blood vial. The blood was planted by the killer who had access to Stephen's blood. Take a wild guess, it wasn't Batman. And just below that, there's a tweet from TikTok Manitowoc. I'll put it up on the screen for you as well. Two people saw Stephen bleeding the night they went to Menards. Bobby and Chuck, who he drove there with. I have no idea if I said the name of that store right. I apologize if it's incorrect. Bobby had every opportunity to go into Stephen's trailer and get the blood out of his sink. Stephen even mentioned the sink blood after his arrest in an interview. So Kathleen Zellner, is still waiting on the court's decision for the motion, her recent filing that she filed in January of 2023. She filed a motion with the courts on behalf of Stephen Avery, and they still have not responded to that motion yet. So what do you think about the blood that was found belonging to Stephen Avery? How do you think it got there? Do you think it came from the sink? Do you think it came from the blood vial? What is your theory on on how the blood got in Teresa Hallbach's RAV4. Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a good day, and I will see you again soon.